all right yeah cool so let's get started once you so thank you so much for giving your time once again uh i wanted to start by asking himanshu like uh how was your life uh before joining burn cal like in terms of your health and fitness uh, were you doing anything uh you know before like uh, like you can start from the beginning like you know when did you uh, started th- like when did you start thinking about fitness in general or health in general what did you do at that time so everything yeah. you did before burn cal yeah so i have been a fitness enthusiast since the beginning right i have i've run half marathons i have i've given or tried on and off gym and you know being active generally playing sports here and there right uh, but i had never sort of did a focused training right? it was just jo marzi i have kar diya right uh, just reading on net here and there and figuring out by myself right i used to do that but then you know when i turned 30 i realized you know i need a i need a specific uh, plan that someone can program for me and you know i it's just it becomes like kisi ne bola ye karna hai to karna hai matlab you know <laughs> that kind of a thing i wanted so that you know i i end up doing the right focus set of things and i don't uh, uh, just do random stuff which might or might not injure me or might not give me the type of results that i really want right so um, so that's the main difference between pre burn cal and post pre burn cal also i was you know kind of active i used to try to take out time for you know physical fitness but it was not targeted and uh, structured uh, the way it is right now uh, right when i spoke with ram and uh, coach ram and that's what that's what i told him you know i am generally fit but uh, you know i want more structure and more targeted uh, kind of workout to you know give me the results that i want so so that's the main got it got it got it no i think that's very interesting i think the structured way of fitness and i can relate to it because like i have also been into fitness for a long time and then trying a lot of thing here and there like uh, at one point and i have also crossed 30 just recently mm. so <laughs> you just want like okay let me just outsource this uh, to some mm. expert and and you know just focus on other areas of my life so yeah. absolutely So how did you come to know about us? Like how did you? Yeah, I I really don't remember. I think someone in my Twitter I follow shared that you know they were happy with Bumtra. They let me try this. Uh, I think I think it was via Twitter only. I don't know who, but someone I follow I shared and uh, yeah, yeah, that's how I got to know. Okay. So what intrigued you to join Burn Cal, right? Because like there's so many options there. So what what was the thing that caught your attention, and what made you like you know take that first step? Nothing specific. So so I was not actively looking out, right? It just I saw that Twitter and figured I could do this thing will help me uh, get this done. So let me just try. I didn't I didn't do a lot of search, right? Care of let me figure out what all product what other products are there in the market. Mm-hmm. what i can do is you know i know someone who is happy with the product i think this can solve my need let's let's try uh, and you know when i when i spoke it was like a 15 days kind of a trial period i like you know let me give it a shot right if it works out i will i will continue if it doesn't there's no there's no nothing i'm losing right so yeah. i just tried yeah. got it so when did you join what kind like how long has it been I think december november or december or something Okay, okay, okay. So almost like one and a half to two months. Two three months. Yeah, I've paid. Yeah, I've yeah. renewed twice. So there are more than two. Oh, okay, got it, got it. Cool, awesome. So like, uh, you know, how's your experience been so far? Like in the last two to three months. Like, can you tell me a little bit specific about like initially how was the experience? Some specific things about it. Uh, just the overall journey. Okay. let me think right uh, experience has been good right coach ram has been really straight forward upfront about you know uh, what i need to do what i don't need to do what things i should avoid and you know he also if i have been fairly consistent in my you know uh, workouts but yeah a couple of times that i missed he messaged me what's going on right so uh, Uh, so that's that's one specific instance that i remember other than that i i he was also very accommodate so 
in December, I was, you know, mostly traveling, right? So I had asked him, you know, I want to work out these days of the week. I'm traveling, so I have access to gym. These days of the week, I'm at home. I don't have access to gym. So, you know, you plan your workout accordingly. I need home workouts in these days. Wednesdays, I need this workout. Weekends, I need this workout. So, you know, and he was very kind of accommodated in terms of planning it around my uh, schedule, right? So, mm-hmm. So that's other thing that I think so. So it has both the thing, right? Flexibility of you know getting the trainer to plan uh, around my schedule and also at the same time having that structure, right? That is not there. Which I think having a person at the the back end managing all this versus having a machine learning tool or an AI do this, that's the that's the biggest difference, right? He can uh, mm. really understand uh, the context, the Mm. Uh, the problems that I am facing, and you know, accordingly plan and get it done. So I think that's a that's a big uh, uh, plus. Got it. Yeah. So basically, like the humanness of the whole experience, and yeah, uh, that that personalization which you get while talking to to Ram, and you know him understanding your entire schedule and yeah. and, and customizing it. That's a that's a very that's a thing that you like a lot. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So uh, I think you mentioned about uh, Coach Ram. So like just going into more specific, like how has Ram contributed in your fitness journey specifically? Like, you know, because you all you were already into fitness. So what additional value has he brought, uh, you know, in your fitness journey? Like I said, getting it structured, right? More so, uh, I don't know, for example, uh, yeah, one thing he, you know, Whey protein, I never used to take, right? And I was very, very and skeptical, skeptical about mm. taking whey protein whether it helps or not. He patiently explained to me, you know, no, you know, it's it's just a supplement. It's, it's it has got no side effects. If you take it in this this quantity, I'll exactly tell you how to take it. You take it there. You there's there's no no harm in taking it, right? Uh, so yeah, so that one uh, kind of myth he busted <laughs> in my in mm-hmm. my mind. Uh, uh right and i then i followed his advice initially i didn't like then he, he explained you can i can make a smoothie and you know and then you know i started making a smoothie and i like it now so i'm taking it every day right so uh so i think that myth he busted uh and uh and second is just that uh, uh it's just a structure thing right that the entire uh, product has done right it added the structure to my workout it's no longer a random workout. I know to gym jane ka time mil gaya chalo gym jaate aaj aaj khelne ka time mil gaya chalo football khel ke aate hai ya you know aaj running kar ke aa jate aisa it's not it's no longer uh, random anymore got it got it i think that's very nicely put and what you mentioned about whey protein is so true for a lot of people right who, yeah. who have never taken it before there's this like notion that oh it's actually harmful and it's yeah. It's chemical, right? A lot of people say so. Uh, yeah, and I think when you hear that from someone you trust, like as a as a coach or as someone like who has the right knowledge, mm-hmm. I think you tend to take that step. Otherwise, like yeah. if maybe your friend is telling you or someone yeah, like you yeah. know your relative, then you probably won't yeah. be as yeah, it, comfortable. It took me almost three to four weeks after he told me to start taking it. <laughs> yeah, he like <laughs> we had that conversation at least two times. I remember probably yeah. more. Uh, yeah. and then I started taking it yeah no and I think that's a big change that you have done so you know speaking of change like uh, what changes have you experienced in yourself like uh, speaking both physically and mentally like what changes have you experienced in yourself post uh, joining Burncal so it's been a couple of months right so physically I think uh, uh, so I don't know I didn't have uh, I didn't actually measure my inches or anything before starting and now right but uh, I I feel that I have uh, my capacity let's say what I can measure is number of push-ups that I was able to do before mm-hmm. and now that number yeah. of push-ups I'm able to do has increased right uh, uh, the number of kilometers that so the weekend over the weekends it doesn't Ram coach Ram doesn't plan any workout for me but I tend to you know go out for a run or something on Saturday or Sunday right so uh, so that the amount of time in which I'm able to do 5k has reduced by a couple of minutes uh, which is a huge uh, number uh, 
Yeah. So these two, I it's like there and I I'm not sure. I think uh, I have uh, reduced uh, uh, the punch that I had. Not sure about it, but I I feel while wearing my t-shirts for that I might have. <laughs> so what was your like? What was your goal initially? Was it to lose weight or was it to gain strength? Uh, it was it was both uh, mm. lose and it was basically to maintain the given you know I started when I turned thirty right so mm. I realized you know this is if I want to maintain this level of fitness I need mm. to you know do something what to do purpose of the workout so yeah it was it was all three in a way right reduce mm. weight have some you know lean muscular kind of a body not being not a bodybuilder type of body but lean muscular yeah. like relatively fit yeah. good looking kind of a body and maintain that uh, right got it got it yeah so you're seeing like better endurance when you're running yeah. and like more energy and and speaking like mentally like have you seen any changes in in your uh, like mental like your attitude or or, or just your uh, you know outlook like as as have you experienced anything as such no nothing on that side given it's at least nothing that i could measure or i don't know yeah. if, if you ask this to my wife probably she can answer better <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay next time next time we should like i should ask them if they if they can come with a significant other, i have some questions for them as well <laughs> but, <laughs> okay no i think cool cool absolutely uh yeah so i think uh, probably give me this is this is all i can think of in general one thing i'm just curious so like would you consider yourself as like a compliant member like were you are you you like intrinsically motivated to stay regular with workouts yeah, or do you think absolutely absolutely okay okay i think you can so see I, my like the record on the app as well right the it's, the streak it's yeah it's fairly yeah. consistent i think just a week or so in between when you know i was i i got covid that's when i didn't work out other than that got it got um, it yeah. yeah so the role of the coach is ma- mainly on the structure uh, part of it where is like you know uh, you you are already motivated to do it but just adding a structure to it so that yeah. you are know, going in the right direction and got also it. in my head now i don't have to think ki acha main kya karu kya karu ab kaise karu i i like ki isne bola hai karna hai to karna hai Yeah, yeah. What about your diet? Like, has anything changed in your diet, like before uh, and after, or you consuming the same? Like, you they produce. No, no. So I, I have. Yeah, we. I added. We. We have reduced sugar a lot. Uh, I have stopped uh, this uh, midday snacking. So yeah. I, I figured a hack for that, right? So I have. I chew chewing gum. I don't know if you can see. So, so during that, I just, I just. I keep chewing gum, gum with me. Like if I'm chewing gum, so I will not eat anything. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Just uh, for the craving. Yeah. 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 Interesting. Yeah. No, I think I think that's pretty good. So now, just like shifting the direction, like uh, you know, because you've been working out for a long time and you're intrinsically motivated. Uh, it's an interesting question. I, <laughs> but I let let's see if we can answer it. Like, if you were to advise people, like who have never uh started workout before right and they just like not motivated enough to take the first step uh what would you what would you advise them like how can they start with their fitness journey uh in the early days and how can they become so consistent like you that depends uh if the person who i'm talking to is in is, is in, in still a student or in college uh right the best way to motivate them is to you know just show the mental and the benefits of having a uh fit body at this stage right in terms of uh, uh you know uh tip general uh how do i say uh, the looks aspect of it right you look good if you're fit right that's it. it's a simple uh mm-hmm. if you look good you have to be fit if if you're talking to someone who is in the mid of Thirties or you know late twenties, right? Where priorities change. Yeah, like, nah, yar, abhi to fitness, fitness ke liye time nahi. I have to work. I have to you know get my career in line. So I think it's it's really important to uh, demonstrate the benefits of having a 
a healthy body which also directly impacts the performance as well right uh, you mm-hmm. tend to fall sick less you have more endurance you can you know your your concentration is better if you're physically fit right and uh, you get that your confidence is also better if you're physically fit when you're talking when you're interacting with anyone right so that all that also helps. so i think it depends uh, on the on the other who's on the other, other side right as to what kind of pitch you have to make in order to make it <laughs> consistent yeah yeah so you you yeah. you'll basically make a, your strategy according to the target customer <laughs> it, yeah it has to be like that right? because something might something that motivates you might not motivate you right yeah, uh, yeah. true yeah but what motivated you like when you started your fitness like what what is it that keeps you going uh, my wife she is <laughs> she is a fitness uh, uh, and she is like you if you have a punch i will not marry you is it you so then so then i think that's that's also one key is like if you want to get into fitness marry someone who's a fitness enthusiast <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Awesome. How long has it been uh, since you've been married? I've been married six years now. Okay. okay. Yeah. Cool. No, I think this is good. So, I Himanshu, these are all the questions I had. So, like I said, yeah. I just wanted to keep it more conversational. Hmm. Uh, uh, but yeah, I mean, thank you so much for your time. You do you have any questions for me? Yeah. One. So I. one thing that i don't know if you can solve it using a product using a product right one thing that i find is is challenging at least for me is ensuring that my posture is right right mm. uh i of course i get the structure and everything right as well but mm. i am not really sure if the way i'm doing it is the best way to do it my posture mm. is right or not or you know mm. video can only do so much but while i'm mm. doing i'm not sure if my back is straight or not Mm. right it seems it's straight but it might not be straight if i'm you know i'm mm. doing a squat i'm not sure if mm. if i'm doing a proper squat or not if i'm doing push ups i'm not sure if i'm have, having a proper dip or not mm. i think i have but i'm not sure mm. uh, right so there's always that uh, uncertainty uh, i discussed that with coach rang he said why don't you send me some videos of you working yeah. but who will take the video right when i'm correct yeah 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 no agreed <laughs> 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 yeah no this is a very good feedback in fact uh uh this is a, i'm hearing this feedback second time today mm. and and it's probably like a lot of people have told us so mm. this, we we can solve this it not in the very very short term but we mm. we have this feature uh, the ai based posture correction feature mm. that we have been developing for a while now and okay. uh, we are planning to introduce that so hopefully hopefully that happens soon uh hopefully sure. before yeah so uh <laughs> but yeah no i think that's a very very valid point other than that like any other feedback or suggestion you have about the overall product and the coach yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so uh, one more thing uh, i think there could be more variations in the workout at least the home workouts that are there uh, mm-hmm. because uh, uh coach ram told me you know jitne bhi char chha sat variety ho sakte they he has given right but then i think there still can be more variations mm-hmm. uh, you know combination of two exercises you can be innovative about it right it's not ki mm-hmm. squats hi karna hai ya lunges hi karna hai it can have can be combination of you know some exercises to make it more interesting more challenging yeah. more uh, so i think that is something that can be done instead of just doing standard workouts mm-hmm. of uh, i think if you do a i don't know combination and you know which basically cultfit does right in yeah in their uh, hiit or this thing right they they kind of mix and match two different set of workout and you know just wo well, i think that that happens it will be much more interesting and there have been two things one is it will not get monotonous for people like yeah. me and it will motivate uh, non regulars to <laughs> to Our do more sessions yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. Actually, this problem can be solved in very near term because mm. we have recently introduced a lot of new exercises in the library. Mm. So I mm. think it just might be that uh, Ram would have not like given you that. Uh, did mm. you recently give this feedback to him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think let me have a word. Yeah, yeah. Let me have a word internally. We can try to solve that uh, sure. quickly for you. That will be good. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The first problem might take us a little bit of time. 
but we will solve that as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. What else? Like any other? This is there very good oh, feedback. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so okay. much, Ivan Shu. It's been it's been a real good. pleasure. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Uh, tell my hi to your wife and thank sure. her for getting you into fitness. <laughs> <laughs> what does she do? I'm just gonna uh, stop the recording. Yeah. yeah.